everybody, it's Mirabelle again, and I am coming to you with a processing video on a trip that my family took to the beach at uh, in San Francisco. Now, this is kind of a um, funny. We um, it was actually a nudist beach. It's called Baker Beach. We didn't know it was a nudist beach until we got there and we read the sign. Thank God nobody else was on the beach, but my daughter never lets us forget that we took her to a nudist beach. <laughs> so on this layout, um, I decided I wanted to try something different. So um, I wanted to do some stamping. Um, the paper that I'm using is um, from Bold Bunny and it's called Beach. Um, the stamps that I'm using, I believe are also from um, Bow Bunny, but I can't be for sure because again, I store my supplies um, in a way where I take them out of their original packaging. So I'm not able to tell you, so I apologize guys, but it is like a background distressing um, stamp. Uh, and then um, I'm using a circle and I'm just kind of using my photo to kind of see where I want my stamps, my circles to be. Um, I'm using black ink from Memento. Okay. Um, and then I decided that I wanted this photo to um, have a little bit more because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of going spritz crazy this year. So I am using Heidi Swap's Ocean Spritz. Now you see, um, I made a mistake there. A big old bunch came out. That happens when you open your bottle um, uh, over your project. So be careful when you do that. Um, and then I am also using the Gold Spritz by Heidi Swap. So as I set that aside to let that dry, um, I decided I wanted to put my photo on some foam so that way it can um, be lifted a little bit. So now because I have that big drop there, I'm, uh, um, it's gonna have to dry it a little bit longer. So um, I think I am, yes, I am going to put some adhesive on there. I got the adhesive is from scrapbook.com. It's the adhesive tape. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, and I usually put my adhesive in the middle so I can tuck things in behind it. And you'll see there that I am using my craft hair dryer, I'm sorry, craft dryer to, um, kind of make sure that not only the ink, but the spritz is dry as well. Um, and so I put down my photo. Um, and then the stickers that I'm using are from Momento, Momenta. They have a beach kind of marine um, nautical type of theme to it. Um, so I'm putting down beach and it has like a cork board. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's kind of cork board and gold. Um, and then I am going to, um, tuck in my journaling card, which is one of the most important things is the journaling. And to save some time, I did already ink the edges. And I do my journaling at the end after I do my video. So just so you know, I do do journaling. Uh, and then now I'm going to try and um, put my stickers down where I want them. So that first sticker I put down is called The Ocean is Calling. And then the run right underneath it is says uh, Happiness. And then that little red sticker there says Life is Better at the... And then... It's right above the beach. Then I'm gonna use my stickers to try and hide that mistake where the 
big drop fell, which I think, I, you know, it kind of turned out well, and I was able to hide it. Uh, and now I'm um, using my stickers. Now I've had this sticker package for a while, so I'm glad I finally get to use it uh, because we really don't go boating or do anything like that. So I don't know, um, you know, haven't had any opportunities to use it. So I wanted to use that sticker, but I didn't see where it could go. So I ended up saying no. Um, after looking at it a little bit, I decided it needed a little bit more. So I'm using this little heart um, stamp and I'm just stamping um, around there. Um, you know, no, there's no pattern to it or anything, just where I think it needs a little bit more black. Um, I still think it doesn't need a little, have enough. <laughs> So I decided that I'm going to use some spritz, of course. And so I'm using my black uh, smooch spritz. And I tend to do droplets, so I'm putting um, little droplets on the edges there. And when you do something like this, after your photo's down, make sure it's covered so that way you don't get it on your photo. Uh, and I also try not to dry it with my photo on there. One time I did burn a photo. So you want to make, you know, be really careful using heat when there's a photo on your uh, page. So I ended up putting the year um, and that is the finished project. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.